Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Mimeo. There are two different versions of the Mimeo, the Mimeo XI and the Mimeo Teach. The Mimeo Teach is the newer version. They use the same software, Mimeo Studio. When they are used with the stylus, they function basically the same. The process for setting up the Mimeo XI is different from the Mimeo Teach. To set up the XI, you need to have the brackets and the command strips, which are basically two-sided tape. The reason you would use the command strips rather than tape is the command strips peel off the surfaces easier and they don't leave any residue. With the XI you can place it on the top, bottom, left or right side of the board. When you have decided where you want your XI located, then check to make sure the power cord will reach the outlet. Then place the Mimeo hub, which is what the Mimeo uses to connect with the stylus and the computer into the USB port on your computer. Before you can calibrate your Mimeo, you need to make sure there's a battery in the stylus. The stylus for the Mimeo Teach takes a double A battery. Then you need to calibrate. If you don't calibrate your Mimeo, the stylus won't click in the right spot and you, you will get frustrated using it. So to calibrate, turn on your projector and then press the check mark and then press the stylus to the center of the lines of the little targets. After you've calibrated it, then go to settings. When the settings screen comes up, go to interactive devices and select where your Mimeo XI is on your whiteboard. As you can tell, the Mimeo Teach and the Mimeo XI look differently. The stylus for the Mimeo Teach hooks on the side of the Mimeo bar and charges that way. There's also magnets on the back of the Mimeo Teach that hook directly to the whiteboard, so you do not need the brackets. The Mimeo Teach must go on the left hand side of the board. There are no other options of where to place it. Place the Mimeo Hub into the USB port on your computer. Remember that the Mimeo Hub is what allows the computer and the Mimeo Bar and the stylus to work together. Remember to calibrate your Mimeo. You need to press your stylus into the middle of the targets that are on the board. It is important to calibrate your Mimeo or the stylus will not click in the right areas. Please remember to go to settings and use previous calibration so you will not have to calibrate your Mimeo every time. Just a reminder, if you move your Mimeo, you will have to recalibrate. This concludes the lesson on Mimeo.